Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Morning. Getting to the nitty gritty now. I have the Rodimus Prime sitting here for the past two years. <laughs> uh, hasn't run in quite a while. I figure I'm gonna get it going and sell it because uh, it's like what they say, if you don't touch something in a year, get rid of it, you know what I mean? And while it is cool, a four-wheel steering tractor, you don't see too many of those anymore that runs, you know. Uh, at least the last time I rode it, it was running fine. Just needs a battery and a pump up the tires, you know. I don't know what I'm going to do about the tires because the way these rims are, they only tires only fit this rim, you know. I couldn't just replace it, so I'd have to take the tire off and put another tire on and maybe a tube or something. But I think, I think that already has a tube. It's just bad, you know. So we'll uh, have to see. In the meantime, I've got like two years worth of leaves and stuff on this area. I'm gonna finally try to clean it up. So I'm gonna clean up this area, get the Rodimus Prime to the front somehow, and uh, get her going. <clears throat> Okay, that sucked. Rodimus Prime is now in the driveway. Uh, poured gas in it. The throttle is all screwed up. It froze, so it's clicking and not moving. So I need a new throttle cable. Also, I think the solenoid's busted because I put a new, well, I know it's a working battery in there. And all it does is click, listen. So I either have to tap the solenoid or jump it or something. Uh, when I poured gas in here, it had ass gas in it. I mix good gas with ass gas. This thing started. Gas started pouring out over here at the carburetor. Uh, hasn't been used in about two years. So I, uh, while it was pouring out, I tapped the bowl with uh, a wrench and uh, it stopped. So when you tap it, jar something loose float starts moving up and seats so it's okay now but uh where they hide the uh solenoid on these mtds is under this panel over here with the two phillips screws over here there's a panel and the solenoid is here mounted against the wall it's very very hard to get to so i couldn't even jump the solenoid if i wanted to because i tried to Take out these Phillips screws. Well, I painted it after I put the panel on. So now this, these two screws there are stripped. I'm gonna have to grind them out to get this panel off so I can test the solenoid. But there it is. There be the Rodimus Prime, four wheel steering. It rolls freely and it turns corners very well. However, I have these oversized front uh, John Deere uh, RX-75 uh, rear tires on the fronts and when you make a sharp turn it gets in the way of the deck so this isn't without its problems uh, it doesn't mow well because the deck is hinky it always vibrates even though I've changed the spindles and 
blades and all that stuff, it still vibrates. It's just, it's one of those hinky things that just can't get right. I've tried many, many times. So uh, it is what it is, you know. But I really do like the four-wheel steering um, feature of it. So I'm gonna grind those bolts. I'll get that panel out and see if we can jump the solenoid. Why can't things just be easy for me? Why is it that everything that I do has to be complicated? Why can't I just put the key in, turn it, and it starts? Why can't that just be it? one Make me get a drill out. There we go. Told you not to make me get the drill out. solenoid right here let's uh let's put a wrench in between it and see what happens That blue fuse. Yeah, I don't know why, but uh, can't even jump the solenoid now. I'm pushing in the choke. I got a jumper pack on the starter directly.
So looks like engine runs really well. Battery's good, it's charging the battery. Wheels are now inflated for the time being. It looks like we might have to change the solenoid. And a throttle cable. I need to get a throttle cable because that throttle cable sucks. It's all frozen up. Why do they put the solenoids here? So you can't work on them. That's why. Oh, son of a gun. Now this is a three post solenoid, so it has to be grounded. Here's the ground strap, all right? That's important. I gotta go and see whether I have, I should, a three post solenoid. It's a four post solenoid I have to attach to ground somewhere. I don't know, man, this solenoid looks okay, doesn't it? Oh, son of a bitch. I don't even know if this solenoid works. I thought it was new, but it looks old. Two wire connections, the, the trigger wire, and then you need to ground it because it's a four post solenoid, right? So you need to like put that on here and then connect it to this thing here. Bad Henry, bad Henry. <laughs> okay. Got a ground strap onto the ground. So we've grounded it, the fourth point. Trigger is on here. These connections are made. Let's see if I turn it, it will crank. Nope, still doesn't work. So I've tried three solenoids. I don't seem to be getting any power to the trigger tab, which means I think the ignition switch is busted. But if you look at this old type of ignition switch, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything like that. So I might have to just try to make something like a uh, on and off switch. I put the original solenoid back in, but I used uh, a grinder and I grinded the ground better so that the paint wasn't in between it. So I grinded the ground uh, contact so it's metal to metal instead of metal paint to metal, you know? Watch. Ground is so important. Yep, I'm losing my mind. The little ball that goes on here, I took it off and I put it somewhere. I said, you know what? I'm gonna put this somewhere where I remember. And of course, I'm senile now, so I don't know where I put it. Well, I can't find it. It'll turn up. I have this uh, throttle cable from something else. I think this will work. Too long. Take this one off. This one's bad. Okay, got a new throttle cable in here. 
kind of bent like that. Choke all the way down. Full throttle, choke all the way down. And it's red too. Let's try it. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's not go through that again. saw it was a good drive but then for some reason air came out of this tire but how about that four-wheel steering huh fellas and this thing starts up great now I really don't know why I really didn't do anything except fix the ground that's probably it but uh, I'm not gonna clean up this thing anymore I'm just gonna sell it as is the blades are also um, stuck. I tried to engage the uh, PTO. The belt started smoking. So I gotta loosen up these blades, and then they will turn. Other than that, uh, we got her going. Starts up pretty well. Drives well. Full steering's cool. And I'll just park this in the back until I sell it. And if you guys are interested, let me know. Trying to get the blades to move. I think I loosened up the blades. Let's see if it works. So as you guys saw, I uh, parked two of the tractors back in the backyard again after I cleaned up. Joining me on today's episode, I think we all we did was just troubleshoot the solenoid, three solenoids. Got a good ground going and run, it starts just fine. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.
here at Mowers and Blowers. We push them into the garage, but they come out driving. Hey Henry, it's Andy from the UK, AKA Mower Wizard. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.